for me, Chad thinks himself a cross between Prince and Rick James in his swagger, which he really doesn't have that much of. <laughs> I was honored to play Nathan because my brother struggles through mental health disorders, specifically bipolar disorder. And so I already had a huge appreciation for the journey and uh, the difficulties and, and also the high moments, the beautiful moments, right, of that navigation. Playing Condola in her postpartum stage as I was in my own postpartum stage, it really informed my own, like how I think about my family and the kind of sacrifices you make for your kids. And, and it's beautiful, but it's also taxing and exhausting. And she's tired and I was tired. I thought we were really soul sisters. <laughs> In season one, I had just come from another show where I was like a 215-pound football player, so I, I, I was told to stop working out and stop cutting my hair and stop shaving. But I think, yeah, I mean, you know, from a character perspective, there is a big transformation from how he, you know, stopped getting haircuts, stopped shaving, probably wasn't working out, and then season two, he runs a marathon. Um, he leveled up, and like every time he leveled up, he dressed a little nicer, and his watch got a little nicer, and the job, and the office, and the house, and the apartment, like all those things got a little bit better. And I think season one, he was very much like shoulders rolled over, kind of a dude who was uh, had low self-esteem. I think by the time you get to season five, he's earned like, you know, the open chest kind of like, this is who I am, and I'm very comfortable with that. To play a character that loves herself unconditionally, challenged the level to which I accepted myself and I've been changed by her. I think that's why I love putting the character of Kelly on so much. And to have her do that for others, come on, it doesn't get better than that. It does not get better than that.